12 p.m. tutorial will cover downloading and using UltraSurf. This program tunnels through firewalls in order to give you access to material that may be filtered in the area where you are accessing the internet. UltraSurf also helps to protect your identity by hiding your IP address and deleting your browsing history when you are finished using the program. The first thing we have to do is get the software. So open up your internet browser and go to www.ultrareach.com. On the UltraSurf site, you can check out the Downloads page, the User Center, where you can view in Frequently Asked Questions section, you can read some background information about the program, and you can learn about the people who created the program. Here, UltraSurf announces that it protects your privacy, increases your security, and grants you freedom. What you want to do now is click the green button that says UltraSurf 9.97 Free Download. This is the most up-to-date version of the software at the moment. Now, save the file. Once my file has downloaded, I'm going to close the window, close the browser, and go to my file. The file comes up as a compressed file. If your operating system does not automatically open these files, you want to get a program that can open it for you something like WinZip or 7-Zip. I'm going to double-click the file, and there's the file I want. UltraSurf is a self-contained program, which means that you don't have to install it, and because you don't have to install it, that means you don't end up with any extra files on your computer. This also means that you can put it onto a flash drive and take it with you anywhere. So if you are out at an internet cafe and you want to maintain your privacy while using a computer there, you can put the program on a flash disk, plug it into the Internet Cafe computer, and open up the program to access the Internet. Now all we need to do is run the program. Before I do that, though, I'm going to copy it and put it on my desktop. Now we just double-click the icon of the sailboat going around the world, and the user interface will pop up, shortly followed by an Internet Explorer browser. I'm going to minimize the browser for a moment. When you open UltraSurf for the first time, you have to choose one of these boxes here. I chose the first one, and then it connected to the server. If you have a problem connecting, you can click here to try reconnecting. Now I'm successfully connected to the server. This is the Options menu, which lets you set a couple of different parameters for the program. You can set UltraSurf to open up an Internet Explorer browser automatically. You can have UltraSurf close the Internet Explorer browser as soon as you stop using UltraSurf. You can delete your history. You can delete your cookies. And you can hide the golden lock that shows up in the lower right-hand corner of your screen, indicating that UltraSurf is actually running. You can set your own proxy settings as well, but I'm not going to do that right now. Once you're done with the settings, click OK. The Internet Explorer browser that opened with UltraSurf is the one you want to use because it can access block sites and it's secure. I'll show you what I mean. I'm going to open up an unprotected Firefox browser and go to www.checkip.org. The IP address that comes up here is my actual IP address. I'm blocking out some of the numbers to protect my own privacy. Now, I'm going to go back to the UltraSurf browser and go to www.checkip.org. You can see that the numbers here on the UltraSurf browser are different than the numbers you saw on the Firefox browser. Once you're done using UltraSurf, you can close it by exiting out of the browser or closing the UltraSurf program, which will close the browser, remove the lock, and depending on your settings, delete your browsing history and cookies. Now you know how to use UltraSurf.